bumper power holding that approach come on center line come on center bit of more power a bit more power a bit more power Right, security. So we're gonna go for our stamp check. Um, my helmet and harness done up and the brake is covered. Is your helmet and harness done up in the back? Helmet and harness secure. Are you happy? I'm happy. Clip up! At the moment, so I can now start doing my power checks because I'm above 30 degrees. Because uh, I'm not gonna put it under load. Okay, so shift whack. Controls. Just be aware of the wind direction when you're doing your chief wrap as well. Yeah. I did check you had your glasses before we taxied. Oh, thank you. <laughs> right, I'm going to hold here. I'm not going to affect anyone on the runway. Okay. So I'm going to put my glove on. T wave. Oh. So, trim is definitely set for takeoff. Wind and weather we've been assessing on the way down. I'm still content at this time for takeoff on runway 19. Awareness, there is no other activity going on that's going to affect me taking off. Uh, eventualities are, uh, sorry, visors down. Are you visor down locked? Yep. Okay, and eventualities on this wind. Um, I will be assessing any fields ahead. If I can land back on, I will do. Um, okay, before I line up, are you happy to take off? I'm are happy. You, are you happy in the back? Yep. Okay. Final check, awareness. No, no within a second, I can see. Okay. You happy? Yep. Yeah, happy with that wind. Okay, bar is neutral. Gently rolling. And we have temperatures. I'm happy. Full power. Bar in. 40 mile an hour. 40 mile an hour. 50. Coming forward on the bar. Rotating and correcting for the wind drift. I'm going to continue to climb out of the crosswind leg. Okay, so you've climbed to 2,000 feet and level off at 2,000 feet. Level off at 2,000 feet, okay. Okay, can you carry out a 30 degree turn to the left, please, maintaining level of flight? 30 degree turn to the, is that a 30 degree bank turn to the left? Yeah, 30 degree bank turn to the left, maintaining level of flight. And coming back, so it's a 360 right round? It's a 360, yeah. Okay. To the left, okay, 30 degrees. JCB in a second, check my airspace to the right, and wings level. Okay, we carry out a 15 degree uh, bank turn to the right please. 360. 360 to the right. Ashcroft traffic, Ashcroft traffic, Golf Mike Echo, Golf Zulu, inbound from the town to approximately uh, 2 miles to run. Can you perform a 45 degree uh, turn to the left, 270 uh, degrees? Okay. This isn't an extreme manoeuvre, so there's this no requirement to carry out a hazel check because yeah. it'll be an avoidance turn. I'm checking my out reference point between that down there. Maintain your height as well, please. Maintain my height. Oh, entering the turn now. Check my airspeed. Check my altitude. Check my speed. Check my altitude. 
check if my air speed I'm rolling out on 270 degrees, 2,000 feet. Okay, can you do a full power climb? Full power climb. Best climb. At best climb. To 2,500 feet, please. Okay, best climb to 2,000 feet. I'm just going to check my air space above. There's no one I'm going to climb into. T's and P's are good. Fuel's good. Power. Tune to 2,500 feet. Coming back to best climb. Feedback, come on. T's and P's are good, still good. 50 mile an hour. And gently coming back on the bar. And then coming back on the power. And we're at 2,500 feet. Okay, can you do an idle descent? Idle descent to 2,200 feet, please. And then maintain, yeah. Maintain height 2,200 feet. Okay, descent. We're just checking there's no one below us that we're going to descend into. Attitude, power coming back. I'm just going to use 60 mile an hour to do an idle descent. Still looking back below. Give the engine a little blip, hang on. Let's keep the temperatures warm. 2,200 did you say, sorry? Correct, yeah. Okay, so power coming back in. Attitude back to level flight. There we go, 2,200 feet. Can you do a full power uh, climbing turn to the left, 30 degree turn, up to uh, 2,500 feet please? Okay, climbing turn to the left, 30 degree bank, up to 2,500 feet. Correct, 2,500 feet. 2,500 feet, correct. Okay. Okay, just check my airspace, climbing turn. Power. T's and P's are still good. Checking my airspace. Attitude, no one above. Checking my airspace. Attitude, checking my instrumentation. Checking my airspace, still got that 30 degree bank. 200 feet to go, checking my airspace. Checking my attitude, checking my instrumentation. Okay, coming up to 2400. I'm going to roll out now. Power coming back. Okay, two and a half thousand feet. Can you go into an idle descent with a 30 degree turn to the right and take us down to 2,000 feet, please? 2,000 feet, idle descent, 30 degree bank to the right. Okay. Check my airspace down below just to make sure there's no one I'm going to descend into. Okay. Choose power to idle. I'm going to roll the bank in. 30 degree. Check on my airspace. Check on my attitude. Check on my instrumentation, check on my attitude, check on my head the bank, check on my attitude, instrumentation, 2200. I think we might be in a thermal. Check on my airspace, that's what I'm sending into, 2100. Okay. Is it anyone I'm going to send into? Bringing the power back in. Rolling the wings level in 2,000 feet. Okay, cruise climb to 2,500 feet, please. Cruise climb to 2,000 feet. Okay. Yeah, 2,500 feet. Yep, okay, T's and P's are good. Still have good wings. Cruise climb, so we're going to power first. Bring the attitude back. Slowly coming back in the attitude, reducing the power, and back to level flight. Emergency. Power off, power off. Okay, attitude. I've got speed, okay, I'm going to regain. Right, wind direction is from my west, and I'm going to select my airfield. My airfield is down there, I've got some very good wind indicators, so I'm going to be choosing that field down there. Okay. Fly the aeroplane girls, get myself set up in the circuit. Okay, this height. Uh, right, Mayday, 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 Golf, Charlie, Charlie, Del Sulu, uh, engine failure, 2 POB over Cotton Moor, 
Okay, TIFF, so throttle is closed, ignition is off, uh, fuel is off. Um, and are you secure in the back? I'm secure in the back. Okay, we're going to do a right hand circuit into this airfield. I should have entered Best Clyde, sorry, Min Sink, sorry. So I've just wasted a load of height there. So I want you to take us down to uh, 2,000 feet uh, with the glide descent and also I want you to carry out, uh, whilst you're in the glide descent, carry out a uh, 360 degree turn. Okay, so idle descent, 360 degree turn to 2,000 feet. Correct. Okay. Any direction? <laughs> I'll let you pick the direction. Okay. I'll have a go to the left. I'll just make sure there's nothing I'm going to conflict with below. I'm going to go to the left. Attitude, power's coming back, check on my airspace. After noting my heading to JCB. Power's to idle. Still at 60 mile an hour. Check on my airspace, check on my attitude. Check on my eyes, check on my air rotation. 300 feet to go. Check on my airspace, check on my attitude. Check on my instrumentation. 200 feet to go. Check on my attitude, check on my airspace. Lift, the engine warm. Uh, rolling out on my heading, bringing the power back in. Power back to level flight. Two thousand feet. Okay, so I want you to put the plane into uh, into a stall. Okay. And I want you to carry out a standard stall recovery. And uh, I'll let you uh, proceed with that uh, however you uh, wish. Okay. Uh, well, first I'll need to do a hazel check, and uh, I'm going to be over a built-up area, so I need to move away from that built-up area. Location: We're clear of built-up areas. Still happy with the lookout. So, okay, get into normal cruise flight. So, it'll bring us back to 70 mile an hour. And then raise the nose up. There's the stall, back with that full power, and then regaining back to level flight, and then bringing the power back. Okay, we have uh, the engine problem. We've got a glitch with the engine. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to land on the field, yep. but we're not going to land. Okay. okay, we are going to abort just before landing. Okay. Uh, so I want you to carry out a precautionary landing. Okay. Okay. So we've obviously identified the field. <laughs> just in case, yeah, just in case it becomes a real one. Yep, understood. So again, check behind me, and I'm going to bring myself down. I believe it's 500 feet. Correct. And that is your circuit point. Right. So that feels like 500 feet. And I'm actually going to change my assessment because I think that direction there is going to be about right. We've got a good approach between the trees. Yeah, there's no power lines. We've got a good approach. Yeah. And if we had to, we could change direction and go that way as well so I still need to look a bit more look at that surface so I'm gonna climb back up to 500 800 feet and I'm gonna start my turn now to avoid that that building there should out at 500 feet with the ground that'll be fine sorry yeah 500 feet with the ground's fine you haven't got to hit 800 feet okay good indicator is the fit is the uh, vehicle tracks so that actually that surface is okay so there's 250 feet. I lost 50 feet there, sorry. Right, I need to climb back up. 
That surface does actually look quite good. Okay, you're gonna have to cut this one a little bit short, I think. Okay. You happy? Just, yeah, just just uh yeah, I'm just worried about over that road there. We're actually uh, we're going to be quite low over that road, aren't we? Yeah. So yeah, what's happened with that's good. Well done. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Power. 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 That's good. Okay. But like you said, if if it was real world situation, situation that yeah, that that was that was spot on that field. Yeah. We, uh, we just didn't do the final check, but it was uh, it was good. Okay. T's and P's still good. Okay. Back towards the airfield, please. Okay. So, uh, field location direction for joining. I'm still going to carry on and do a down, um, a dead side join for runway 19, which means I need to come back from the north. I'm going to do a slightly tighter turn because that chap's house is there. So, I'm going to do that and then go in from the north. Uh, fuel, we have caught a tank uh, sufficient for us to approach. I'm going to go back to 9 and 9 and 6. Back on QFE, so we need to climb by 200 feet. To get back in, as we said, the radio is going back on. So, any people confirm that the hand throttle is closed and the trim is reset. Uh, are you secure in the back? I'm secure in the back, yeah. Okay, that's the rejoin complete. It's definitely an interesting crosswind. Yeah, it's definitely zero one. Yeah. Powering out of this because it's not fun. Okay. I'll tell you what you can do if you want. Do you want to land on the crosswind runway? Yes, please. Is that one there? You go on the crosswind. So land on the next uh, next circuit. So just do a nice wide round here. Okay. And do a low approach for this one here. You're going to find that a lot a lot nicer. Yeah. Because that crosswind's going to be quite nasty, I think. Yeah. 300 feet, turning final. Still at 60 mile an hour. Okay. Touch it down on the numbers. Sorry. On the numbers. Okay. Is that testing for you? <laughs> <laughs> it's testing my decision making process. Can I have a cup of tea now, please? <laughs> I am smiling. I did I did enjoy it. As sad yeah. as it sounds, I did enjoy it. Just need to uh, get myself around the corner. Okay, Jules, so we've just carried out our uh, mock uh, GST. <laughs> <laughs> I quite enjoyed that. Yeah? Yeah. Good fun. Yeah, and that, yeah. that's obviously going to prepare um, you for your for, for your real GST when it when it when it eventually comes around. How do you think it went? Um, there's a there's a few bits on, I think you may have picked up on anyway. Um, it was a it was an odd day weather wise because the wind mm -hmm. was backing and veering all over the place. It was. It was quite a choppy day today. Yeah. yeah. Um, I felt comfortable with the manoeuvres, mm -hmm. um, the steep turns. I think maybe I need to look out a little bit more. Um, I wasn't quite uh, yeah. as, as confident on the lookout. Yeah, I think what tends to happen with the students, we, you, you put that much concentration in, in the turns that you forget to look out. Mm. Um, but uh, but you, you, you got there, you know, generally I was happy yeah. with the lookout. Yes, on occasions you missed, mm. uh, you, you know, you missed a few lookouts, but uh, as, as a general, and I know you, you're concentrating that much on that, that angle, that angle of bank mm. and maintaining that height. You know, but, uh, but generally, I was I was really happy with with, yeah. with, with your turns. Yeah. The precautionary landing was interesting because again, there's if as I said, if it was a real life, that would have been a perfect mm -hmm. field. I wouldn't have been fussed about the 500 foot rule mm -hmm. coming into land. I need mm -hmm. to land. Yeah, 
And also on your precautionary you landing, you actually did look down as well, which is yeah. good. He was, yeah. was actually very conscious. He was checking the field to make, yeah. to, you know, which uh, you, you probably lacked a little bit on some of the other ones. But that was that was yeah. a yeah. massive improvement. Well, you mentioned it. I was like, oh, actually, mm. I need I need to I need to actually be looking at the surface, <coughs> not, right. not just yeah. having you look for me. Yeah. So it was um, good. Yeah, I was happy with that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, the manoeuvres uh, was happy with. Um, the one I was a bit annoyed with myself on, and it was only in hindsight that I realised, was I forgot to do my re engine restart. Cartmore. more. Yeah. Yeah. Now Cartmore was a bit odd for me because mm. it's, and if it, if it was a square field, mm -hmm. I'd be landing anywhere, but mm -hmm. because there's two runways, it forces yeah. you to try and land on the runway. So I'm trying to get onto the runway mm -hmm. and I just, yeah. we'd have been landed safely, but I actually, yeah. Yeah. Tried to get myself onto a runway as opposed to landing safely. Yeah, yeah you did. You you, you 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 did forget the restart, obviously, uh, and that under normal circumstances, I suppose, it, it, it's an opportunity missed. Mm. You know, the fact that we could have probably restarted the engine and and, and uh, you know, not actually having to, to to land the plane. But again, I understand. Uh, you know, the concentration was there for the landing, and, mm. and as it happened, the, the your emergency approach was 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 good anyway, and it would have yeah. been a nice landing. And also, the emergency landing, the the min mincing. Yeah, how did you feel? We went on with that. I um, <clears throat> I think it's just my head got saturated. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. um, that. I had the bar at min glide, a best glide, apart mm -hmm. from min sink. So I was mm -hmm. wasting height, which is mm -hmm. wasting time. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, which, which is thinking time, really. Mm -hmm. So for me, I, I which can really add to what we've just said about the, the missing the restart, mm. because you was in uh, you was in the, the bar was in its neutral position. Where, you know, it was giving you less time to, to think, mm. uh, and that's probably a good example of why we actually put, put the planet in mid sink. You, uh, probably then you would have got your, 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 your restart yeah. in there. Yeah, but okay. yeah. Fair and it's good that you're spotting all these. Yeah. <laughs> um, coming back into the circuit, doing those missed approaches actually helped because we were mm -hmm. realising it was a 90 degree crosswind, but it was back in a veering by 30 degrees. Yeah. So I wasn't really able to get a handle on which, which circuit I needed to be in. Mm -hmm. And then you said, do you want to land on the short, which I hadn't actually mm -hmm. landed on before. Mm -hmm. I was like, I really do want to land on the short. Mm -hmm. This is just a nightmare at the moment. Yeah. Um, so the, miss the, the first approach, I think from your eyes, you would have probably gone in, but I wasn't happy. It's the first time I've ever landed on that on that strip. Yeah, yeah. Second time we came around a lot lower, yeah. um, under power, yeah. and, it, and it felt a lot better on that yeah. second approach. And we yeah. just bobbled on and then just coasted yeah. across the, the, uh, the hard runway and then, and then taxied in. That's, that's correct, yeah. And, and you can see with, with our initial approach over the runway, uh, which really is why you, and, and you actually treated that as a precautionary landing. We wanted mm. to see what the wind was doing, how it was affecting the plane. And you could see that the plane was weather cocking yeah. uh, into wind. So that would have been quite a, a, a challenging landing if we'd mm. have continued with that. But, yeah. but you decided to abort the landing. No problems with that at all. Yeah. I mean, yes, I probably would have landed that, but it's not me that's, that's flying the plane, it's yourself. Yeah. Uh, and I always say to the students, what I would land you probably wouldn't, mm. and, and could be the other way around as well. Yeah. So I'm more than happy to, for you to abort, abort the landing. And yeah. I actually prefer that rather than you trying to force the plan in if you are not happy yeah. because that can be quite stressful and it can result in, in, in a bad landing. Giles, I'm, I'm happy with that mock uh, GST. Uh, you know, overall, yes, there's some tuning areas there that we need to look at, but, uh, but my, my, my general feeling was, was good. It was safe yeah. and, uh, and I'm, I, I was happy. Yeah. Fair enough, cool. We'll uh, leave this debrief here and uh, I don't know what they've got lined up for me in the next flight, but until next time, everybody, fly safe.